Have you ever wished that there was an easier way to organize and access all your project related resources in one place? It's a common struggle managing multiple files, apps, and tools across different projects. You have to manually open up every app, folder, and file to get started working. And if it's a big project, you'll have to do this every single time you go to work on the project until its completion. Well, that's where a tool like Workspaces can step in. Designed to bring everything that you need into one convenient space, it simplifies your workflow and helps you focus on what matters most. In this review, we'll dive into the features, functionalities, and some real world applications of Workspaces, helping you decide if it's the right tool for your needs. What is Workspaces? Workspaces is a tool designed for anyone who wants to cut through the noise of scattered files and focus on getting things done. Think of it as a control panel for your projects. Instead of opening files, folders, apps, and websites one by one, Workspace lets you bundle every everything into a single project. Then with just one click, you can launch everything that you need. It's the kind of thing that makes you wonder why you didn't have it sooner. But it's not just about saving time. Workspaces also helps you stay focused. By keeping all your project resources in one place, it minimizes distractions. How Workspaces improves your workflow. Now, one of the most satisfying things about Workspaces is how much time it saves. Think about how often you've wasted time searching for the same files or opening the same apps every every single day. Over time, those seconds and minutes add up to hours, maybe even days over our lifetime. Workspaces takes all that repetitive effort and eliminates it. Now, another way Workspaces helps is by keeping you organized. When you're switching between projects, it's easy to lose track of what you were doing. Workspaces acts as a snapshot of your workflow. Open a project and it's like stepping back into exactly where you left off. You don't have to remember which tabs were open or where your files were. It's all there waiting for you. Features that stand out. Seamless resource management. Workspaces supports a wide variety of resources. You can add files, folders, apps, websites, emails, terminal commands, and even custom URLs. This flexibility means that you can use it for almost anything, whether it's a simple task or a more complex project. Now, what's even better is how easy it is to manage these different resources. You can rename them, change how they open, and even set delays for when they start. So if you want your browser to open five Five seconds after your design app, you can do that. Customization options. One of the fun parts of Workspaces is how customizable it is. You can personalize your workspace with custom icons, making it easier to find what you need. You can also use separators to create sections within a workspace. Templates are another game changer. If you have a type of project that you do regularly, like creating reports or editing videos, you can save a workspace as a template. The next time you start a similar project, you just load the template and everything's set up for you. It's a small feature, but it can save you a ton of time. Advanced features for power users. For those who like to dig deeper, Workspaces offers advanced features like Apple shortcuts integration and custom scripts. This lets you automate even more of your workflow. Real world applications. So who's Workspaces really for? The answer is almost anyone who works on a computer, but let's look at a few specific examples. Freelancers and professionals. Freelancers often juggle multiple clients, each with their own set of files, tools, and deadlines. Workspaces makes it easy to keep everything separate and organized. Students and researchers. If you're a student, you've probably experienced the chaos of managing lecture notes, assignments, and research papers. Workspaces can help you keep it all organized. You can create a workspace for each class or a research topic, making it easy to find what you need when you need it. Teams. For collaborative projects, Workspaces is a great way to keep everyone on the same page. You can share templates or set up common resources that the whole team can access. Setting up your first workspace. Getting started with Workspaces is surprisingly simple, even if you're not the most tech savvy person. The app's interface is clean and intuitive, so you won't feel overwhelmed. Here's how it works. When you open Workspaces for the first time, you'll see an editor where you can create and customize your workspace. To add resources, you can drag and drop files, folders, apps, and even links directly into the workspaces. The customization doesn't just stop there. You can assign icons to your workspaces, making them easy to identify at a glance. So let's go ahead and create a new workspace right now. So Workspace, typically it can live up in your menu bar, but I have set up a keyboard shortcut to control, option, command, down arrow to bring it up. So if I go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and see my different workspaces that I have here. I've got three different ones, one for editing, scripting, and filming. And these open up different apps when I click them. So let's go ahead and create one together. We can go ahead and click on edit here, and that will bring up the editor. So this is where we create our different workspaces. So we'll go ahead and create a new one over here, and 
we'll just leave it named new workspace. So it's a very intuitive and very easy app to use. You can just go ahead and add your stuff by clicking the plus button or simply drop something here. So if I had something on my desktop that I wanted to have open, I could go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and just click on this little plus sign here. And here you can see all of the different elements that you can add into a workspace. So you can add files, folders, websites, emails, an application, a terminal command, a URL, actions, as well as shortcuts. So let's go ahead and just click on application. And it's saying that you can go ahead and drop an app here. So when I click on applications, it goes ahead and opens up my applications folder here. So let's go ahead and throw a couple in here. So let's just go ahead. We'll add books to open up that. And maybe I want to also take notes. So I'll open up another application here and we'll go ahead and click on that, which will bring up our browser. I'll type in N for notes. And there we go. Then down here we have some different launch options so we can launch it on start immediately. All right. So now if I go ahead and exit that out, I have this new workspace. And if I go ahead and click on it now, it opened in my other browser, but I have my notes here and my books right here. So they opened in my secondary monitor, but just by the click of a button, I was able to open those up. And that's really just how easy it is to go ahead and set up a workspace. What's new in Workspaces 2.1? So the latest version of Workspaces includes some thoughtful updates that make the app even better. One of the highlights is how it handles Google Docs files. Instead of treating them like regular files, Workspace now converts them into website links. This means that you can choose which browser to open them in, giving you more flexibility. Now, another small but handy update is the ability to close the search window with Command W. It's the kind of detail that shows the developers are listening to user feedback and constantly improving the app. Bug fixes are always welcome, and this new version addresses several issues. From plugin behavior to action execution, these fixes ensure a smoother experience overall. Pricing and compatibility. So Workspaces is available for a one-time payment of $19.99. Considering how much time it can save you, this is a bargain. The app works on Mac OS 10.14 or newer, and if you're using Mac OS 12 or later, you get access to even more features like Apple shortcuts. Updates are free for users of Workspace 2.x, so you don't have to worry about paying extra for new versions. Now, Workspaces is also available under a set app subscription, which is one monthly subscription that gets you access to over 250 curated premium Mac OS and iOS apps. So if you want to get started with Setup, you can go ahead and click the link down in the description to get started with a seven day free trial. And then it's just $9.99 per month after that. And be sure to check out our channel for other apps that are on Setup that'll make that subscription worth it. Why you should try Workspaces. If you're tired of wasting time setting up your workflow every single day, multiple times per day, then Workspace is worth checking out. It's a simple idea executed brilliantly and it has the potential to change how you work. It's one of those tools that you didn't know you needed until you tried it out. Now, Workspaces isn't just another productivity app. It's a tool that genuinely makes your life easier. If you want to get started with Workspace, you'll find links down in the description. You can try the app on its own or explore it as a part of a set app subscription. Now, these are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. These commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue creating free content just like this. So if you end up using those links, we thank you so much in advance. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we provide in-depth reviews and comparisons of different software tools to help you find the best software solutions for streamlining your business and boosting productivity. So be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you here in the next video.